Bogart 9 for Windows and Linux. Welcome everyone, Joel Brooks here, owner of Moments in Time Video Productions and a Macro System Americas dealer. Today I'm going to demonstrate the great new features in Bogart 9. Contact your Macro System dealer to obtain the most up-to-date version of the Bogart 9 download link. Once you have downloaded the link, open the zip folder. You will then see the actual Bogart 9 installer file. Double left click on this file. There will be a dialog box containing the Bogart license agreement. Click accept. Then click on the install icon to start the installation process. Once the installation is complete, click the finish button in the Bogart install wizard. Now, go to your computer's main desktop and you will see the newly created icon called Bogart. Open the Bogart 9 editing program by double lift clicking on the Bogart icon. Bogart will open to the main menu with 13 available menu options. Select the Systems menu, then choose System, and then select the Install Product menu option. Locate the Bogart 9 item in the product list. Now, enter the 12-digit activation code you obtained from your macro system dealer when you purchased Bogart 9. Go to the Edit menu. For this demo, I have already loaded several video scenes into my Studio Pro Ultra system. Let's take a look at the new capabilities available in Bogart 9. The most significant change in Bogart 9 is a completely revamped audio section. I will cover the audio section later in this demo. The first new feature I will show you is the Trim Reserve function. Go to the Options menu located in the lower right portion of the Edit menu. In addition to the standard menu options available in this window, you will notice a new option called Trim Reserve. The trim length is adjustable from 0 to 30 seconds. This enables the trimmed inserted video scene to maintain the trimmed portions of the video along with a buffer zone in the storyboard. Also, when using the split function, whatever trim length you set in the trim reserve, the split scenes will automatically generate, in this case, a 10 second adjustable buffer zone. The second new feature available in Bogart 9 is the ability to quickly add a scene to the storyboard by double clicking on the large preview window. You can also drag and drop a scene directly into the storyboard. In addition, you can use the mark function to select the number of scenes in the scene bin, then either double click on the preview window or drag one of the selected scenes to the storyboard then the entire cluster of scenes will be added at one time to the storyboard. A great feature. The third new feature available in Bogart 9 is whenever you are creating a new color scene, in addition to the archives and pick color options, there is now a third option to adjust the RGB levels. The fourth new feature available in Bogart 9 is the image pool now has three new image control options. Format, Image, and Color. You can rotate an image plus minus 180 degrees, including adjustments to clip, fill, resize, as well as options like image control for brightness, contrast, and color. The fifth new feature available in Bogart 9 is located in the Scene Function area of Bogart. In the Transitions, Image Processing, or Title Menu, there is a new button labeled Storyboard. This is in addition to the Effect, Effect Plus Scenes, and Range Options. This new feature enables you to make a scene out of the entire storyboard with just one step. This is a huge time saver, especially when making a scene out of long storyboards. The sixth new feature available in Bogart 9 is the ability to extract a video frame grab from the Range function in the storyboard. First, select the Range option in the storyboard, then click on the Position feature and scroll through the video to locate an area of the video where you would like a frame grab, then select the camera icon on the far right. Now, 
select a destination where you want the still image to be saved. The seventh new feature available in Bogart 9 is located in the Export menu. There is an option for exporting a video scene in the 360 recording mode. This function will export the video scene using the MP4 video codec. A very nice feature. The eighth new feature available in Bogart 9 is the improved default titler. The functions and menus are better defined with easier access with the enhanced layout. If you plan to create extensive graphics for your videos, I personally recommend purchasing the new add-on title program called Vertigo Titler. It offers many additional features and capabilities to create professional high-end graphics for your productions. The ninth new feature available in Bogart 9 is the totally reworked audio section of Bogart. In the Audio Record Edit menu, you will notice a couple of new features. The first item is the Audio Record Playback Meter now displays vertical scale marks to help determine the plus, minus, 10 dB audio peaking levels. The tenth new feature available in Bogart 9 is we now have the Action button in addition to the Mark button located in the lower left portion of the Audio Record Edit menu. This is a great feature that enables you to mark just one audio sample or the entire audio sample bin as well as the media pool audio samples and then you can place an effect on all samples marked or just the active track. The eleventh new feature available in Bogart 9 is the newly designed audio mix menu. There are now nine audio mix tracks to work with in Bogart. A special thank you to the developers in Germany for giving us the additional three audio tracks. This new feature enables more flexibility when adding sound effects, music, and dialogue. To the left of each audio track are small icons that contain quick access to the following options. Cancel, Volume, Mute, Hide, and Effects. Just below the number nine audio track, is an Options button that enable the following features. Merging audio tracks 2 through 9 and various options for determining the merge type and range such as Active Sample, Visible Range, Entire Storyboard, or Select. Then you have the option to replace in Storyboard, Delete and Insert in Track, and Create Sample. In addition, you can copy video sound to another track you can also mute the video sound. When you select an audio sample, there is a small icon in the middle of the sample that enables a shortcut access for Cancel, Volume, Correction, Fade, Envelope, Effects, Create Sample, and Play Sample Only. Next is the Record Comment function. Select this option if you want to narrate the video as the storyboard plays out with an external microphone. Next is the Check for Overmodulation icon. This is a helpful tool for double checking for audio hotspots. The next menu option is the Render Storyboard option. This function renders the video effects in the storyboard. A handy shortcut option. The next menu option is Render Storyboard Audio. This function renders the audio portion only in the storyboard. The row of buttons to the right of the Render Storyboard icons enable the following functions. First Scene, Previous Scene, Next Scene, Last Scene, Previous Sample, Next Sample, and Move Play Marker. This option enables you to set the position of the play marker to any location within the scene. And a play button. In the lower left portion of the audio mix window is the user interface settings menu. In this menu, there is the option to set the view to either the storyboard or timeline mode. If you select the timeline mode, there are options to adjust the size of the video, insert, effects, and transitions. In the storyboard mode, you can set the stamps to small, medium, or large. 
On the right side of this menu, you have the option to lock or unlock the audio tracks. The next icon is the Show Scene Raster option. Setting the scene raster to on displays yellow colored vertical lines that separate each scene in the storyboard for a better visualization when working in the audio mix menu. The next icon is the audio scrub feature on off selection. There is also an undo and redo option for easy edit corrections. On the right side of the audio mix menu, starting from the top is the main audio level meter with the newly designed vertical scale markers I mentioned earlier. Beneath that is the preview window. Just below the preview window are four special function play stop buttons. The first button is play active track only. This plays a specific audio track you have selected. The second button is Play All Tracks. This plays the entire cluster of audio tracks. The third button is Stop, Go to Start. This stops the playback, then when playback resumes, it will go back to the actual start position you have defined in the Play Marker menu. The fourth button is the Halt, Stay Here. When you press this button, the playback will stop and then upon resuming playback, the clip will start playback exactly from the point where you stopped it last. Beneath those four buttons are seven additional options. The first is the Insert Replace Samples menu. In the lower right portion of this menu are options to sort audio samples by original, by name, or by the length. Beneath the sort menu are the audio sample play and stop buttons. In the options menu, there are settings for setting the group name and selections. You can choose to show the already added samples. The trim reserve is part of the same new function found in the edit menu as mentioned earlier. To the right of the options menu is the media pool selection. Beneath those options are the add, replace and remove buttons. Now, back to the upper portion of the audio mix menu is the second option called Range. In this menu, there is the Trim function, as well as a Position button. To the immediate right is the full screen Range Trim feature. In addition, there is a Quad Window version of the Range Adjustment menu. Next, there is a new feature called Copy Video Sound to Another Track option. Audio samples from the original video sound can be copied to tracks 2 through 9. In the upper area of the main audio mix menu, the third option is the Fade Control menu. In this menu are the familiar controls and functions for adjusting the fade in and outs as well as the audio corrections and main volume control slider. The next icon is the Envelope Control Panel. This is where you can ramp up and down audio levels using what is known as rubber banding. It is a great feature to use. The next icon selection is the Effects menu. This is where you access all of the audio effects including any additional add-on effect packages that are installed on your Bogart system. I highly recommend purchasing the Audio Effect add-on package. It has many options that will greatly enhance the audio aspect of your videos. The next icon is the Audio Mixer menu. This is where you mix up to nine audio tracks. You can adjust each track individually, including the option to mute a given track. You will notice an asterisk symbol next to an audio track that is currently active. This is a great feature. The last icon in the row of menu options is the Info button. This displays information about which track is active, the volume level, the number and type effects used, the length, and audio envelope. This is a great tool that gives you a quick overview of the audio mixing process as you go along with your project. Bogart 9 is a rock-solid operating system and well worth the investment. Whether you're upgrading from a previous Bogart version or purchasing Bogart for the first time. Also, 
I recommend purchasing one of Macro Systems Turnkey Editing Systems for maximum performance. Bogart 9 for Windows and Linux. Macro System.